Well, uh, after uh, The Rocker, uh, Ghosts See Me Sweat, for the next song I felt like it really we needed to really um, have something that was more ethereal. And hence the song Brains. So there's quite a few things that I remember uh, about, uh, about this song. Uh, first of all, uh, how the song came about. I guess it, this is maybe the most different song on the record. But where it came about, I, in, in the back of my house, there's a lake, and in the lake there are uh, turtles. And so sometimes I would go out and I'd throw uh, bread uh, in the lake, and one thing led to another, and there was one turtle, and then two, and three. You'd see heads pop out across the lake, and all of a sudden all these turtles would be right where I was throwing out bread. I'm thinking, how did they know that? Well, turtles have brains. And then I started thinking, you know, we all have brains. In any event, that, that was really the, the genesis of, of the lyrics on that. Uh, but that, that really didn't have the, the lyrics complete. And so uh, Chuck Stokes, my friend, uh, was over and I said, would you, would you be so kind as to, to help me with writing the lyrics to uh, Brains. And he was so kind, and he did, and we did. And I think uh, uh, it's like like all these songs, it's open to interpretation exactly what you're talking about. But, uh, but I think it really came together very, very nicely. And it was very, very much fun uh, uh, co-writing lyrics with him. We had a great time doing that. So the song uh, starts out with uh, uh, with people in a bar, and um, and that was something that I I'd, I I'd had recorded before the, uh, this song. I just knew that I wanted to to do something kind of have a sound of people uh, in a bar. So uh, Michael Gardner, my producer, and I uh, took a a, a high end mic and we. We drove around different places trying to figure out, you know, where we could get the best sounds. But we ended up in in, in, uh, in uh, a bar, Liberty Brewery, um, in Myrtle Beach, uh, and they were luckily they were not playing other music over their PA system. And I invited a bunch of friends to come out because I wanted to have other people's ta people talking and voices uh, involved. So we, we set up the mic in, 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 at this table and everybody was sitting around and uh, initially nobody said anything. Everybody was too scared to say anything. So I bought a round of beer and then the, the discussion, people started talking and then I bought another round of beer. Anyway, a few rounds of beer in, people were very willing to talk. And uh, so I think I got about uh, two hours maybe two and a half hours of, of, of people just talking uh, in, in our group. And you can even hear at one point in the song, uh, Cheers, where people are clanking the glasses together and so forth. Anyway, I, I took that, uh, I took that uh, all, all that talking and synthesized it down and picked out, um, I think, interesting comments that are made. And so if you listen to the song, you'll hear uh, 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 down low, but it's very audible, um, uh, very specific things that are said, uh, whether or not it's about London or New York, or whether or not it's about spandex. Um, just very, very interesting little tidbits. Also, uh, in the background, you, you hear a piano playing. It's very, very faint. Uh, and that was Dave Atkinson. Uh, he had played a piano part that I thought might actually be the opening to the record, but it was uh, it was rather dark and haunting, and so that didn't work there. But as background for this talking part, uh, this bar part, it worked perfectly. So if you listen to it, it's very haunting in the background as people are talking and uh, using their brains. Uh, and, and then you, know, you hear uh, my acoustic guitar uh, come in, but and I and at first I thought in the song the acoustic guitar would play all the way through, but it just didn't really work. It worked better to fade it out, 
and bring in uh, uh, a synthesizer. And, uh, and then uh, uh, Lewis Dickinson played bass on this song, uh, but he played a, a fretless uh, uh, bass um, and, um, and I think got some really, really nice sounds out of that with a tapping part uh, near the end. Uh, so, uh, so essentially that's how Brains came about. So let's listen to it. Piano part. I didn't know this was going to be philosophical. London is like New York, it's filled with different neighborhoods. London, New York. But I find lots of naughty people. Ministry of Silly Walks, now that was a damn camera skit. Ministry of Silly Walks. Acoustic guitar part. Toast. Bass synth. So just stopping it for just a moment there, Chuck is singing lead on this and, and does a beautiful job. And you, you hear the synthesizer, really the string sound, and we're trying to really bring in the ethereal aspect of, uh, of this song and what it's about. And now the guitar solo comes in. Just a quick comment about this. Uh, I actually played two solos uh, uh, with uh, uh, a long delay, and uh, uh, part was panned up the middle, and then one would be panned hard left, the other would be panned hard right, and we got a little crisscrossing there, um, which I think made it uh, uh, made for an interesting uh, solo. One other thing I remember about this solo, uh, I believe uh, uh, I did a, a bit of a reverse delay. And the other thing that I did were volume swells, uh, taking my pinky on the volume knob of the guitar and swelling. It gives it a very uh, violin type of sound. I played two different solos. And we'd pan one left and one right, sometimes crisscrossing them. But in any event, that is how uh, we got that very uh, spacey sound uh, for the solo. And I think uh, it needed to be that way to fit in with the openness uh, of, of brains.
now a tremolo guitar is going to come in. We all have brains. We all have brains. And it hurts when the load breaks our back. We all Very relaxing song. I think the harmonies came out uh, beautifully on that song. Good fit.